<clears throat> Thank you, Lothar, for describing the ICTP activities. Uh, I, uh, now I want to invite the uh, team which is going to make the course possible. Uh, from ICTP side, we have uh, two technical persons, uh, Thomas and Victoria. You must have been getting some emails from, from them. But uh, are you, can you open your videos, uh, Victoria? So Victoria is one point of contact uh, for all of us. You have any difficulty, you please write an email. You already, ha already have her email address. And uh, Thomas is providing the uh, technical support for Zoom. Uh, any difficulty you have in opening Zoom, you please write an email and she will give you instructions for, I mean, he will give instructions for uh, working with Zoom. Uh, yeah. So, and then we have uh, uh, two master TAs, Kyle Maddox and Kriti Goel who will be operating a parallel homepage. Of course, all the information is there on the ICTP homepage. Uh, however, we have a parallel homepage just in case you cannot access one of them. So we, have, we are maintaining two web pages with more or less identical information. So I request uh, Kyle to uh, introduce the other homepage, uh, which will be with us for next 10 weeks. Hello, right. Kyle. Yeah, yes. thanks. Um, all right, so real quick, I just wanted to show you guys how, um, you know, of course, for the, the lectures, there will also be included exercises. Um, and I just wanted to show you real quick the spot where we'll be submitting those, um, as well as, like, uh, Jiggle said, another website where we can get um, the information about the course. So I'll share my screen here. So this is the um, a website that Kriti and I built real quick to help. Uh, help collect some of this data. I'm going to post a link to that to the site here in the chat, um, so you can visit this. And we have three major pages that you'll use with this: the lecture notes, which of course will be posted here. Um, so this may take some time to populate because we have to get the lecture notes from the the speakers. In fact, um, Professor Epstein just emailed me, uh, emailed us his, his notes, so we'll get those up soon. Um, the next one here, uh, up, I mean, you can access all of these pages, of course, from the, the homepage or the navigation links up here. For recording links, we'll post um, the recording to each each lecture here that you can click through if you need. And finally, um, just wanted to show you the assignment submission. Um, so if you click here, it'll pop up in this page to a Google form. Um, right now, uh, it's still, still a little bit in progress, but we did want to get some data on how many people we felt like were going to be submitting the assignments. Um, so if you are interested in submitting assignments for um, the, the lecture exercises, you can click here to fill out form, enter you know, your details, name, email address, and we prefer the email address that you use to register for the course. Um, your home institution, which exercise set you're submitting for. So you can see the drop down box here, there's quite a few options. Um, and then finally, you can add a file here. So when you click the submit file button, it'll open your you know, native file browser um, and you can select um, a PDF of the assignment you'd like to upload. Um, we do request PDF files. So you can use, of course, LaTeX to build those or a scan handwritten notes if you want. Um, but we do just because we're not sure how big all the files are going to be how many how many files are going to get these sorts of things um, we're asking to try and limit it to one megabyte in size if you can um, and if you need help with that you can of course email me or Kriti and we'll, we'll get, you, um, get you sorted out so our email addresses are here on this form for example um, or I, we can go ahead and type them in the chat as well but if you are interested in submitting the assignments regularly which um, for a graduate student I think a course like this with so many you know stars uh, teaching you the material it's, it's very worth looking at the exercises they think are important. So at least try them for yourself. But if you'd like to submit them to be graded by the tutors, um, please first, uh, if, if you would like sometime today, come and submit this form just by selecting the inaugural set. And you don't have to attach a file or anything. Just submit your name, email address, institution, and then click here for inaugural and click submit. And then we'll get a good idea of how many people are planning to submit regularly. 
that's not a contract. You don't have to submit regularly, even if you fill that out. Um, and if you want to submit and you don't end up filling this out, it won't be a problem. But this is just to help us get some data on that. Um, anyway, so um, if you have any comments about the website, um, I'd love to love to discuss. Um, of course, you can email me. Again, I'll just drop my email in the chat as soon as I'm I'm done here. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that might be most of what I had to say. So thanks. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Kyle. Uh, as I said, uh, we are maintaining a very set of certificates. So why is it so different? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so in addition, we organize uh, many conferences every year. There are about 60 conferences and workshops per year. Um, so this uh, one is in some sense one of them, uh, although it, the, the uh, format is very uh, different from the usual. I mean, usually it would be one week conferences, workshops, or two weeks. <coughs> or, <coughs> but uh, this time it's 10 and it's all uh, virtual. But we hope that uh, soon uh, we will have uh, again many more uh, also such programs here again. In normal years, we would welcome about up to 5,000 scientists per year uh, to these activities and also as visitors and postdocs. Um, okay, you can see where people come from. So as you can see, they come from all over the world. It's maybe not so important to have the precise numbers, but uh, you know, it, uh, I mean, it's uh, always many people from all over the world who are coming here to, for our programs. So one thing <clears throat> that is important is that somehow we want to offer something for everybody in every stage of their career. So it starts with a, a diploma program, which prepares for a PhD uh, as a student. Then uh, there is this, uh, this PhD program, so the joint SDPC is a PhD program. We also have a STEP program where people uh, come to uh, I mean, have a, they already have an advisor in their home country do their PhD there, but they also get an addition, uh, a second advisor here and come a few times during their studies here to discuss with him and uh, do the PhD also with the help of somebody from here. And then after the PhD, you can come as a postdoc and as a visitor. And there's also the associate program where uh, people uh, after they are selected would uh, come for maybe over a period of five years, they can come more or less every year for one or two months to, uh, to visit us and uh, to do work here and uh, continue with the research. It's, uh, it comes in different uh, levels, junior, regular, and senior, depending on the uh, seniority. Um, in addition, we have this Office of External Activities. So if you uh, want to organize a school in your home country, you can um, ask for some limited funds from them to help you uh, support some of the participants. <coughs> there are also uh, some partner institutes in Brazil, China, and Mexico, which have recently been founded. So here, yeah, you can see a map of the different activities. So, um, there are these different partner institutes, which you can see. And if you look at uh, the blue and the yellow, uh, you can see, for instance, in the year 2000, what scientific meetings in what places of the world scientific meetings and schools and workshops have been organized. So thank you. That was all I wanted to say. So you should uh, look 